classrooms. They are fundamental to children's education. We need to get that built as soon as possible. As the state government planned the future of school construction, a more pressing problem loomed above. The crisis in New South Wales. It's a teacher shortage crisis. So today what we're going to do in maths is we're actually going the to... The Teachers Federation that. says the 2.5 per cent pay rise offered by the government will do nothing to solve that crisis. So public school teachers across the state will strike next Wednesday. Teacher shortage is being caused by uncompetitive salaries, salaries that have declined relative to other degreed professions over the last 30 years, and crippling workload. Here in New South Wales at 2.5%, we have the highest pay rises of any state in Australia. But where we can do more, we will. We'll continue to work through those issues and get a good outcome. Parents are being warned to plan for disruption. I think it's really difficult for working parents. Uh, they don't really know uh, where to send their kids. When you homeschool, you actually appreciate how much work the teachers actually do do. This disruption on the 4th of May pales into insignificance compared to the daily disruption being experienced in our school due to teacher shortages. You know, it's been a very disruptive two years uh, for, our, for our parents and for our students, and that's why it's disappointing that they're choosing to strike. The Teachers Federation is upping the stakes with this latest round of industrial action. In addition to next week's strike, teachers are now authorised to walk off the job if a government MP visits a public school. A hearing in the Industrial Relations Commission has been set for early May. Jake Lapham, ABC News, Sydney.